No, that's not Jesus. Oh, they say he would, he didn't look that way. Then if you argue with them with a European picture up, they'll say it doesn't matter. Everything matters, people. Do you know that? Everything matters. Matter, time, and space matters, people. Everything matters. The only people who And this is, and, and I'm gonna tell y'all this. Explain something to y'all. Minister Farrakhan been around for a long time. He he's 84. We will probably never even see 84 years old. This man seen things, knew, seen how the mentality of the black people. Sometimes I say things y'all don't get it because you're looking for something straightforward. When Minister Farrakhan speaking, he speak and he will give it up. The minister will actually build on Chris your damn dead mind up. He's speaking to a bunch. You follow me? If you pay attention, maybe you need to t let your. He is a living legend. Let me say this one more time. He didn't kill Malcolm. Get the hell out of here with that, Joe. See, this is the stupidity of our people. This is the stupidity of niggas. That's a nigga mentality. Minister Farrakhan was not where he's at today. So all you Negroes then today are killing Momia Abu Jamal. Okay? All you niggas is killing Momia Abu Jamal. We're, and this is what I want to ask you people. This is not about Farrakhan. It's about you dead niggas that ain't fighting against the police. All you on here right now that's talking about the minister killed Malcolm. What about you killing any of these police officers, any of these white people that do something to y'all? Sit your punk behind down, dude. For real? Sit your behind down. You have no facts. I don't have to enlighten you. Go look up anything you need to go look up. I don't need to enlighten you, baby. Go look it up for your damn self. Don't, okay, go look it up for your damn self. Maybe you need to sit back and put the blunt down and put the poison down and sit back and do videos. Look at a thousand videos. Sit with other people. I sat with Elder Earl in L.A. In L.A. who was with Malcolm when he got killed. So go back. Go back and study it. Yeah, the Nation of Islam be giving it real. And this is the problem. Niggas always got some dirt in their damn closet. They have dirt in their closet because they may be one of the ones that's beating up their wives. Don't take care of their children. This is niggas who talk crazy. I'm not getting emotional, baby. This is passionate. This is not emotional, baby. Emotional, you won't see my emotions. And if it is emotional, it's a good energy. That's all it is. Don't get the emotion mixed up with energy. Because I don't like people who put out stuff about people that you know nothing of. Don't do that to yourself, homie. Don't do that. I've been studying this for a long time and I've been in the Nation of Islam. I did the research. Malcolm himself said he brought that on himself. Don't go there. These are the same individuals that say they don't, they're not Moors. I know. But they got the right more today, baby. He got the right more today. So don't ever get... <laughs> Passion mixed with emotions. Emo Emotional Negroes start cussing and tripping and losing their mind. You ain't never hear me use me. But when you talk about something that you don't know and stuff that you can fight right now, 
that niggas ain't going to fight? Go fight against these Europeans. Let me see you throw the first stone at a European, but yet you might be the same Negro that's down there protesting, I mean, actually partying at an Eagles parade that have nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. Why did Farrakhan apologize to the fan? Why wouldn't he? If my brother killed somebody, let me explain something to y'all idiots. If my brother killed somebody like he did, I would apologize. It ain't had nothing to do with me. Did that make sense? Did that make sense? Do you apologize to your children's mom for not taking care of your child? Do you children do you apologize to your par to the parents' mom that you abused? Did the woman that you beat up, did you apologize to her? Family? No, because you're not a man enough. That's what men do. This is the issue. Men make phone calls. You have men who talk about me, but never will pick up a phone and call me. Actually, and I did nothing to them, right? But yet, men make phone calls. Men apologize when they're wrong. If he was in the Nation of Islam, and this again, it stops talking about this. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying idiots isn't that. Look up the word idiot. Okay? Pay attention to what I said. Okay? I'm just, it's, just, it's insane, man. This is like, we got to really be like, I'm not calling nobody cool to agents. So what I'm saying to y'all, this is what kills me. We still in 2018, 2018, still talking about what Minister Farrakhan has done to Malcolm and how many brothers that we allow get killed by these people. The European never come back and apologize to you. Have the European ever come back and apologize to any of you black folks? But you talking about what Farrakhan did? That's a man. <laughs> that's a man. Even though he had no hands in it, that's a man. We pay more attention to singers and dancers. Yeah, we do. And they took that. Look at what they did. They took that one word when I said idiot. And what they should do is look up that word idiot. One word. Yesterday, they still selling us out. And they selling us out by religion. By religion. You have to go ask those brothers. This is not about the nation of Islam. Stay focused. Go ask the nation. There's many brothers in every state. I don't even know what state you in, bro. You should go ask the brother in the nation. I'm pretty sure they have a brother in the nation of Islam, wherever state you in. So what you should do is go ask a brother in the nation of Islam about Scientology. Now, I can tell you this. This, if Moors or any other blood with Scientology, if we dealt with science, we would not need Scientology. Let me say this one more time. If we were dealing with science, not belief systems, nobody's religion, we wouldn't need Scientology. Did you follow me? See, y'all think that I'm supposed to always be this peaceful dude. This peaceful dude. Unless you study in this, don't ask me anything about language. Go look it up. Unless you're dealing with this, do not come to me about language. Etymology or etymological is origins of words. So don't come to me. Many good conscious brothers going going to live by. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all something, and this is the back to the Christian brother again. I want my brother to look up this, and I know some of these cats going to probably steal this and say, "Well, the religion, is, original, original, original religion is Tawahido." None of these conscious dudes was talking about Tawahido. None of them was talking about Tawahido. My Christian brother. I want you to look up this religion. It's the original form of Christianity. I'm going to say this one more time. And I can go into deeper details with this too. But um, I know some of these other cats is watching this. They're going to probably try to steal it. Well, you know, brother, the religion is Tawahido. Now, check it out. I want you to look up Tawahido, my Christian brothers. It's T-E-W-A-H-E-D-O. T-E-W. A H E D O, Tawahido. So, my Christian brother, I want you to look up the original form of Christianity. 
I'm not non-violent, but speaking to reporters in reference to MLK and he had all things. So listen. I want you to look up Tawahido, which is the original form, how the Europeans took it and bastardized it. They bastardized the hell out of it. And gave it to the so-called Negroes and told them y'all couldn't read. Yeah, we couldn't read. We couldn't read what y'all wrote because they took the words. Vows and put everything else in it. Right? But you notice that Christian brother's not on here. And also what was told to me from Ethiopia, that they said the reason why they use a white Jesus in Ethiopia or a pale face Jesus is because of tourism. Did y'all know that? Did you know that's why they use the white Jesus in Ethiopia? Because you had tourists coming in. Right? Why y'all keep talking about the first language? I know Suba. I talked about that. That's old. We're not into that. Follow where I'm going at with this. We're not talking about Suba. I'm talking about how Negroes are uneducated. So they used it in the same way that Roots was plagiarized. Yes, black people. Roots was plagiarized. And they keep remaking it every 10 years to get a whole new generation. Listen to me. A whole new generation every 10 years or 20 years, they got another Roots coming out. Because you black folks don't deal with your culture or who you are or your people. So, Roots was plagiarized by Alex Haley. And then the guy from, you can research this. Research it. Listen to what I just told you about Ethiopia. Now listen to what I just tell you. I'm going to tell you about Roots. The guy from Gambia said it's a lie, but it's a good lie because it brings money to Gambia. Where's your black people talking about this on Black History Month? I don't hear none of your black people on TV constantly saying this. Where they at? They said it's a lie, but it's a good lie because it brings money to Gambia. The same thing with this parade. The same thing with the parade, but I'm going to show y'all something. Why they don't pay you Negroes no mind, no matter how many cars you think you have. What kind of Benz, Bentleys, Degrees, and whatever you think you have. I'm going to show you why they don't give a damn about y'all. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. I told you before, people say, I read the book, but did you go in the book? The study of the Negro, like they don't do us. The chief reason why so many give such little attention to what? The background of the Negro is the belief that the study is unimportant. Ain't that some stuff, y'all? We're unimportant. Look what it says. That they consider as history only such deeds of those of Mussolini. If you don't study Mussolini, y'all wouldn't know what happened. Who after building what? Up an efficient war machine that would aid in other Europeans. This is what they're doing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how this come around to the day. And now use to murder an unarmed right now and defenseless Africans. Right. Who have restricted themselves exclusively to attending to their own business. Now, Mussolini was fighting the Ethiopians, Epicenius Ethiopia. So how do they keep the Negroes passive today? Yo, man, let's go down the parade. This is the biggest parade going on. Yo, the Eagles won. Eagles won. The Eagles won. Football. I thought y'all was protesting football. Negroes back down, though. They don't have no backbone. No backbone. But yet, the, they can put out here the Eagles sell, the Eagles won, right? Eagles won. Every Negro down there. Let me tell you what I was doing as I was watching. And I'm from Philly. I love my city. The police are going to be locking niggas up anyway. They probably booting people's cars right now. They probably having cases right now or they probably suspended cases for the day. Now the brothers that have to go to, to go to court can't go to court because now they can't get to the criminal no justice center because it's so packed down there. So what makes the Eagles game worth more than any somebody's life? Where are all the black people at? And I'm saying black Moors don't get upset. I'm saying where are the black people at? That comes out for Mamiya trial and cases. 
I ain't never see that many people come out for a Mamiya rally. Never. The problem is most of you black folks don't even know who Mamiya is. Mamiya Abu Jamal. Make him a person you should look up for Black History Month too. This is why it's not even worth fighting for our people anymore. This is why, I'm going to say this again. This is why it's not even worth it fighting for our people anymore. Because Negroes don't stand for nothing. All of the god darn games, I mean the, the parade, football, and every Negro out there. But you know what I didn't see in that crowd? I didn't see Chinese people. I didn't see Arabs in there. I didn't see Ethiopians in there. I didn't see, go, no lie y'all, do this. Go look in the crowd of the parade in Philadelphia. You want to see niggas? Niggas, right? You going to see Caucasians. Those two people. Straight up. Yeah. Go, I'm sweat. Go look at the niggas. You're going to see niggas and Europeans there. You ain't going to see no Asians down there tripping. You ain't going to see no Arabs down there tripping. You ain't going to see no Ethiopians down there tripping. See, y'all look at the parade. I'm looking at the people inside the parade. They're not down there. If they're down there, they making money. You know who else ain't down there? Mexicans ain't down there. Mexicans not. If they down there, they making money off of niggas. They gonna sell y'all the shirts, and they gonna probably sell you the shirts that's gonna be like a hundred dollars. Think about it. They getting their bread, baby. They're not worrying about niggas. I saw them riding around after the game and being praised for exact. Do you know that majority of these football players don't give a damn? You ain't see that boy that was talking about the football game? Like, listen, let me tell y'all something, how this works. They have to do what they're doing. They have to do what they're doing in that football because they're under contract. I can understand this. They're under contract. So they have to do what they're doing. The people that kills me is our black people. I have not seen them. At a Mumia rally, although they don't know nothing about Mumia, how he fought for our people. How Mumia fought for our people. So I'm going to say this to y'all. We got 38 people, and I hope this goes out to everybody. You're going to worship a man that you never met before. But you have a man that was fighting for your people right here. This is why I said it's not even worth it, baby, to deal with our people. I'm being real with you. It's not even worth it. More is in the NFL, though. Yeah, niggas are in the NFL. These are niggas on auction blocks. And this is why I told you before, listen to my video from last night. Listen to it. You love if I'm only dancing and singing and playing sports. That's why they say niggas stay in your place. Hold up. This talks about it. If you give up, you give up on the children. No, I'm going to show you something. In Carter G. Woodson book. He said, niggas, stay in your place. That's what niggas are supposed to do. Negroes stay in their place. Hold up, I'm trying to find it. It's in the book. About niggas staying in their place. Uh, it's somewhere in here. But it's in here. I'll get to it tonight. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. But it's in there. It talks about niggas staying in their place. So because you have a bunch of NFL players, brothers, they need niggas. They need them. The $40 million slave. Wow, it's a good book. I want to pick. I want to pick Savers Day. What? Any drops of Greek... Oh, okay, whatever. No, we are the original. You must have never seen Ethiopians. You ever see my Ethiopian book? You don't see them Ethiopians and nobody else down at this parade. Y'all don't understand. They need niggas. They need niggas. Again, they need niggas to do what they're doing. What's the YouTube channel? Sabir Bay. S A B I R. S A B I R. B E Y, Sabir Bay. You say the Gemini wisdom is the term nigga 
No, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's not. They even got our people saying that. Yo, do you know Detroit had... <laughs> They had a funeral, no lie. I don't know if y'all can remember this. I told you I have a good memory. Years ago, they had a funeral for the N-word. I said, why did they have a funeral for the N-word and no funeral for black? Because black means death. Why? A picture with you on Savior's Day. Oh, okay. No doubt. But... They had a funeral. How could you bury? You should bury the word black. Damn. You tell you, boy, this European do something. He just all you got to do is pay off some niggas. That's all European got to do is pay off niggas. That's it. Pay off the niggas and the other ones will follow. Say you got a degree in something, niggas will follow. Say you get a good education, niggas will follow. But you don't think for ourselves. I remember that in Detroit. Yeah, I re see how I remember that? And how long ago was that? That was a long time ago, wasn't it? That was a long time ago. Energy very low. We need to eat high. Yeah, well, they not. Good luck to try to tell our people to eat right. The most unhealthiest people are football players. Did y'all know that? Did you know the, un, the most unhealthiest people are football players. But you want to follow behind a football player. Hold up. Somebody asked about the word nigga. Let me show you something. Nubian, Ethiopian, and more from ancient Egypt. Negro, Negretta, from West Africa. All the above are native African words. You see that? Native African words. Negro is what? Probably the oldest, as Negretos, are the oldest known branch of what? Of the human race. Negro comes from the river. It had nothing to do with Europeans. Niger. 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 Now remember people in etymology. In etymology. An I can be an E. Interchangeable people. Understand vowels and stuff. It, it, okay? Latin, since the people from that region were dark skin. Niger. Okay? The I is an E. The D is a T. The C is a K. Cut. America. Cut. Cut. Black in color like white or on the other hand. European words. Not white man's words. European words. Ethiopian and more were properly used to describe the so-called blacks instead of 1500. Now I want you all to go ask these Negroes, these educated Negroes, what were we called before that? You can snapshot it. No, everybody said, how are we having Black History Month? Are we not buying this kind of stuff? There you go. Go look it up and see what year it came out. Then ask your black people why they're not talking about this. But yet, you weren't about a damn parade. Again, you don't see Mexicans down there. You don't see any other race of people but white people and niggas. Because whatever this European puts out, and it's sad because I saw some of my friends and families down there saying, Yes, this is the greatest day to be here. Greatest day to be here at the parade because the Eagles won. No more is denied being African. I don't know who says that. None. I don't know none of them. I don't know which ones. If they, they're they poorly uneducated if they're saying that. Poorly uneducated. If any of these Moors are saying that. I understand what they're talking about. 
I clearly understand where they're coming from. Okay, this is another brother y'all should look up when you get a chance. Abdul Rahman. This is actually a documentary. So whatever more says that they're not that. So I'm going to show you. This is him who was a prince. That's on them. I ain't got nothing to do with them. Maybe they're dealing with something totally different. But you know, I don't care. They can follow my page. That don't mean I know them. The government of the United States. The more. Before. He was an African prince. So that don't make sense for people to say that we're not Africans. It don't make sense to say that we're not Africans then. When he was an African prince. Yes, a lot of us didn't come here on slave ships. Trust me, we didn't. A lot of us did not come on slave ships. A lot of us was already here. But I'm not going to get into that. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, <laughs> Sabir Bay. I have many videos up there. So whoever these Moors who are saying that we're not that, hey, no complaints when the police shoot down another brother. Exactly. Thank you very much. I don't want to hear no complaints. I don't want to hear no complaints because if you looked at that crowd, see, people, I look at other things. Like I tell people, Right. When I'm at concerts with like DL and all these people, I tell I go in the crowd, I feel the people out, I look at people. Even when I'm at shows with different individuals, artists, I watch the crowd. And I'm watching the crowd right now. I'm looking at all the police right there. Them same dudes will lock you up tomorrow that you were smiling with today. Seriously. They will lock you up. Take your car. You're like, what? And see what happens. I'm in the shoe brand, Maury. Listen, I can break that down. Y'all talking about some hidden color stuff. Listen, I know all about that, baby. I told y'all about the Rock of Gibraltar. The Rock of Gibraltar is the Rock of Tariq, which is the Prudential sign outside the insurance company. That is yours, yours too. The Rock of Gibraltar, when the horse went over, Tariq went over on a horse called a stallion. But now they, they draped the eagle thing around Rocky on a parkway. The Italian stallion. Think about it. Tariq went over the, rock, over the Rock of Gibraltar on a horse called a stallion. The Italian stallion. Think about it. The horse is, a, is on a Porsche and a Ferrari. Those two cars are made in Europe. It's a stallion that's on those cars. Stallion on a car. Yeah. But that bitch, they didn't tell you that, though. Y'all know about the Mori because you've seen a video and said the Mori Gators or whatever. Really? It goes deeper than that, baby. I can bust all this up and don't have to bite off nobody else. The suits that people wear every day. When this European in Philadelphia going to tell me that Minister Farrakhan is anti-Semitic? When this dude told me that Minister Farrakhan was anti-Semitic, he got mad at me because he couldn't get it? He said, I said, Farrakhan can't be anti himself when he is the Semitic person. He said, I said, name something that you Europeans created. See, this is what they don't like, a real brother who knows, who did not go to their school system, that you can't figure out. So... He said to me, well, Minister Farrakhan is anti-Semitic. He don't like Southern stuff. I said, you never heard Farrakhan say that. He said, well, why Farrakhan wearing Italian suits? I said, no, baby, they're not Italian suits. Those suits, those silk and linen come from the Moors. But you put your tag on it. Let me repeat this one more time. Because I don't think y'all got me. The silk and the linen come from the Moors. You just put your name on it, and that's how it becomes Italian suits. He got pissed off. I said, it's nothing that the European made. It's nothing that the European invented. And he got so mad. See, this is when the difference between knowing a, a brother that knows his history, not what the European has told him. You follow me?
or not following behind somebody else. Okay? You get that? And we're sitting in a coffee shop and I'm telling him he drinking coffee straight from Ethiopia, Buna. Buna is coffee. It comes from Ethiopia, baby. But yet, if you listen to the news and the TV, you would think it came from 